and welcome back to John's Law Mowing. In today's vlog, we're looking at a job that I did in collaboration with a friend of mine, Sheldon Schutzler of Green Giant Gardening based in Bangor here. He's a startup business. Um, we're looking at this job that uh, was referred on to me by a friend. Um, the customer was unfortunately taken for a bit of a ride by some cowboys. They turned up to the job um, they cut down the trees, conifers started cutting on a hedge um, and they just took real advantage of the customer. Now I don't want to go into customer's name, don't want to go into the details, that's private information for the customer. Other than to say that uh, this, this job here was um, just an absolute horrible experience for this customer. So I was referred on by a friend, Alan Adams of AMA Joinery up in Coleraine. Um, he had done some work for this guy's brother and uh, wanted to refer somebody who was a bit trustworthy. So it turned up, looked at it and uh, managed to get a plan of action together. And this is what the job looked like when I first arrived to give a price for the customer. the Hansa chipper and a tipper trailer now which will feature um, I'll discuss in another vlog but a Hansa chipper to kind of compact compact down all the branch cuttings into this and then we can take it away and then tip the trailer uh, at, at the dump so you'll see this in action we'll get it going this is the front of the property it's tidied up in the edges weeds who turned up to do this job for the customer were uh, part of an online trade reference agency uh, it's not one of the check a trade or anything like that it's one of the other um, kind of agencies and I don't think there was any background checks done any authentication to see whether how legitimate these businesses were I think there was only literally just a mobile phone number and that's it you know, no address no 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 accountability no no online presence to be able to find a registered business um, so that was very unfortunate the guys turned up they gave a price they started the job and basically dumped everything in the garden and I've seen this before where it's a bit of a strategy to try and extort money from the customer um, so they get halfway through the job then they come and say well this job is a little bit tougher than we thought uh, and if you want us to take away everything well it's going to be an additional X amount of money so for the sake of privacy for the customer I'm not going to go into those details other than to say it was just a real shame and I felt so bad uh, for the customer having been taken advantage in that regard but also very frustrated as well that um, that gardeners can gain such a reputation because of the actions of people like this so the job was more of a salvage job and you've got to understand that the end result was trying to make the best of what was there, leveled off the hedges. Uh, the previous cut was kind of up and down like this, where it just topped it off with a square uh, square head edge on the hedge. And then part of the, the hedge was cut out very far, and then it was gouged in toward the neighbor. So I had to kind of cut that back a little bit. And then over the next couple of seasons, that hedge should uh, hopefully bounce back for the customer. Um, so it's not the ideal finish, but it was trying to salvage from the work that was done by these um, previous cowboys.
go. Pile number five. It's big enough. Fifth pile this size. And so far, we've only filled the trailer that much. Serious piece of kit. So thank you very much for tuning in for the video. Huge shout out to Alan Adams of AMA Joinery and Lawn Care up in uh, Coleraine. He's the gentleman who referred me for the job. Um, it's pretty cool to have good contacts throughout the industry, uh, especially even in the locality of the, the uh, Northern Ireland. Being able to be connected with so many guys, it's easy to pass on details to people just up the road if you want. A uh, huge shout out to Sheldon Schutzler for teaming up with me. Uh, the two of us worked pretty hard on that job we didn't really stop at all and um, for breaks we just kind of tried to get that job done and dusted for the customer as best we could so thank you very much for tuning in i really appreciate it don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next video